Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're growing so much. They're growing so much. Look at those puppies. Somebody's growling. Who's that? Who's growling? And who's sitting so good waiting to be let out? Look at those puppies. Hey, yeah, let's all follow Cooper off somewhere. Hey, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hi. Yeah, raise up on me. There you go. Put those little poo-poo paws on me. Hi. Go potty. Yeah, potty under the grapevine. Just what a dying bush needs, a little bit of ammonia. Hey, Friday. Hello, Friday. Her little muddy paws. Hey, muddy paws. Hey, Cosmo. If you guys are noticing anything, well, besides Cooper has stumbled upon a trail, um, if you guys are noticing we're missing somebody, hi there. Hey, Cosmo. Hey, Cosmo. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, Lord, you smell doggy. You smell doggy. Hey, Friday, I don't want to pick you up. You're wet. You've been in the grass with Cooper. Cooper! Cooper! Yeah. We're missing Heidi. Hi. What are you doing? Yeah, what good puppies. So, yeah, let me try this again. So, yeah, let me try this again. Uh, we are missing someone in our doggy clan. And definitely not those two. It's Heidi. We uh, noticed that Heidi was starting to um, become a little bit emaciated. Yes, she was starting to just lose weight rapidly. She was panting. And it's clearly, like, really cold outside. And, you know, she, you know, not want to go for walks anymore. Not want to run anymore. So she went to the vet. Um... And we were told that she had um, some heart problems. And, of course, when she was younger, uh, she was the runt of a litter of 13. And her mom had issues, um, you know, with nutrition when she was pregnant. And a few of the puppies died um, when they were born. Um, one or two passed away a few months, you know, in just passed away so that's probably you know something that stuck with her her life and there's Aaron there's Aaron Aaron's awake because I ran by her window barking
The smaller one, the more feisty one, that's Friday. That's the girl, the one that just jumped. And the heavier, stocky one, that's Cosmo. That's your boy. Hey. Looks like Friday's also a little darker. She's got a lot more blue in her. And he's he's got a lot more ticked. <laughs> he's got a lot more white fur. Cooper, where are you leading them off to? He's going to teach them to be rabbit dogs. Put that up, please. Thank you, Ed. Look at Cosmo. Aww. So, I had to change uh, my shirt because um, Friday smelled like puppy pee. <laughs> she rolls in it. So, I had to change my shirt. But, yeah. Um, so, we had to put um, Heidi uh, at, um, at the vets for a few days um, so that they could, you know, do necessary um, observations and everything. And... Um, tests and all that and of course yeah her um heart troubles were so severe that um she actually couldn't even survive a surgery to you know fix anything and possibly even an exploratory surgery because her lungs also had been affected so we uh you know lost her a couple of days ago she actually passed away um shortly um after I got back um, to the house from this last trip to Arkansas, and this is about um, five days later, six days later, I think, we're back here, um, and yeah, she's gone. There's definitely a void here. Heidi was a good dog. See where Erin is standing right there? She's going to put some goats over there. Right there where she's standing. And that's going to be the fence line. Where I'm standing right now is going to be um, the driveway. The driveway's actually already been here because that's the soybean field right there that just got uh, harvested. Which... Erin's really glad that she was, you know, in Tennessee with us at the time because she would have been on a combine. There's still a few soybean remaining here, but... Yeah, so our, our neighbors have just uh, gotten over there and they're clearing off their spot. They're going to go off grid and we barely know them like barely we're just meeting them today <laughs> um but yeah they just bought the land across from us but they're gonna put their house more toward the 
ridge line that's opposite us. And this is where we're going to build. There's a, a state highway that's just over those, well, over those trees, between the two sets of trees where you see that fence. There's actually a road there going down a hill. And so this hill here is where we're going to dig into to put our basement. Still trying to decide whether or not we're going to do a um, earth house or something like that. We know that we're going to do something that's energy efficient and self-reliant. You know, I'm talking solar. Um, haven't figured out the system just yet. And there's a creek and kind of swampy area that's just over those trees. Um, and it goes all the way past the trees and down into the Langille River bottoms there. Um, so we have a nice source of water. So I'm thinking of, you know, a whale, just like um, our neighbors there across the street are going to do a whale. Um, they want to be as off-grid as possible, and I don't blame them. It'll cost about $3,000 to bring city water in which you know would be nice but what if the system collapses you know and the well um pump is gonna have to be on electricity so we're thinking of a solar battery but yeah this is it and this is where all that good stuff you know livestock and all that stuff's gonna happen